third ranking class member with an average of 3.960 is Julie Carol Gunter. Julie will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Julie. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Reverend Tom Ranzino of Holy Rosary Catholic Church will now deliver the invocation. Father Ranzino. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for in your goodness you have given us a purpose and a destiny in life. We ask your choicest blessings upon these young men and women, upon their families, upon the struggles and the successes that have been a part of this year. We also thank you for the gift that public education is in our community. May we always have the freedom to enjoy that gift. Into their futures, may you give these graduates your constant care and protection and lead them to know that you will always be at their side. We ask this blessing upon us, upon the students, faculty, and administration of Sanamo High today and forever. Amen. The Sanamo High Band will now play our alma mater. Thank you. Just like 
to say thank you to uh, Flippa, and I'm sure on the part of the class, the teachers, and the administration, she's been a wonderful person, has really broadened the uh, part of uh, our knowledge of Australia also. So thank you, Flippa. moment in our ceremony that I would ordinarily introduce the salutatorian of our graduating class. This year will be an, an exception. Mary Collette Babin, our salutatorian, was involved in a traffic accident this afternoon and is presently in Our Lady of the Lake Hospital. Collette suffered a broken leg and facial lacerations. She's deeply disappointed that she cannot be here tonight but she has asked that her friend and classmate, Julie Gunter, read the speech that she prepared. Colette has a grade point average of 4.050. Julie, please come forward. Mr. Stein, school board members, Mr. Giffen, Mr. Pittman, Mr. Sanders, faculty members, distinguished guests, relatives, friends, and fellow graduates. Gathering this evening, we share a long anticipated moment in the collective life of the class of 1984. Tonight, our life as a group striving for the same goal comes to an end, but the end of anything is the beginning of something else. Tonight, we another when each of us must explore individual goals and assume individual responsibilities. My only regret is that in making this transition, my goals will lead me from the people that made my stay at Santa Mar High worthwhile. On behalf of the graduates of 1984, I would like to thank the entire faculty and our families for contributing to this part of our lives. Because all futures carry with them parts of the past, we can never truly leave the school or each other behind. We have enriched each other's lives by the simple fact of being. We have nurtured lifetime friendships and discovered many new ones. We have shared the excitement of accomplishments, providing us with the good old days to remember. We have shared the frustration of defeat, providing us with the opportunity to grow. But most importantly, we have provided, been provided with an education. The knowledge we have gained will enable us to find and mold our own places in society. With the right to enjoy the benefits of a free nation comes the responsibility to contribute to its future, to make a difference. We can use our education to promote a value for learning and understanding. In recent years, doubts and insecurities about the future and controversy about the quality of education have obscured the true value of learning. Fewer students stay in school until graduation. Many see schooling as a chore to be endured. Many feel the pressure of economic concerns. Others cope with the frustration by dropping out. Also, we hear of a perceived shift from emphasis on academics to extracurricular activities. These and other controversies pull the focus from where it should be, how to ensure the best possible education for our children. The answer is within ourselves, and as such, we should strive to clear the obstructions and heal the divisions. With the foundations and the values we have gained, we must take the future of our society and our children in our hands, hearts, and minds. We can and must make the difference. Thank you, from Colette. The members of our graduating class have voted to leave as a gift to Santa Mo High School a sign bearing the school and mascot's name to be placed upon the outside of our football stadium. It is our hope that the community, the alumni, the faculty, and the students will remember the class of 1984 when viewing the sign on Friday nights. On behalf of my class, it gives me great pleasure to present this check covering the cost of construction to our principal, Mr. Giffen. Mr. Giffen. Again, on behalf of the faculty, staff, and the future student bodies of Santa Mo High School, we accept this and the sign will be done this summer. We hope it's ready for next year's football season so that we will all remember the class of 1984. Selected members of our senior class will now perform Memories, the theme from The Way We Were, our class song for 1984.
the core of any educational system. The student who attains prominence in this area does so only through a strong Climaxing her high school career at the top of her class is our valedictorian, Carlin Elise Poole. Carlin, whose grade point average is 4.302, will now deliver the valedictory address. Carlin. In my hands, I hold today. In my dreams, I hold tomorrow. And in my faith, I hold forever. My class motto may be likened to a cycle with no true beginning, it's independent of another. Our past influences our present, and today prepares us for tomorrow. Today is within our grasp. Today is all that we have, the here and the now, with the foundation provided by our parents, our teachers, our friends, and our family. Their guidance and love have led us to the discovery of our talents and ourselves. We must utilize all of those abilities and talents to make the most of every moment that God has allowed us to have. One example of the developing of talents is found in Matthew chapter 25, which tells of a master who gave his three servants varying amounts of talents. The ones who increased their lot were called good and faithful and were promised further rewards. But the servant who kept his talents hidden had them revoked because of his lack of faith and his lack of foresight. Our talents, that which God has given us to use, include our health, our youth, our sight, and our hands, among other things. Henry David Thoreau once commented, we are as much as we see. Faith is sight and knowledge. The hands only serve the eyes, the eyes with which we view the future. Our future consists of our hopes and our dreams. Although we know not what the future brings, we begin planning today, and our lives are affected long before we enter that phase of our life. We may choose to begin working or to continue our, our educations, but preparing for tomorrow affects our daily lives. Each day should be a renewal of spirit and mind because our minds contain all of the past and all of the future, an amount of fear. But fear is a natural thing. Faith which does not doubt is a dead faith. Living faith comes when we pursue an unknown end of faith in forever. Today, tomorrow and forever are only pursued because of the faith we have in ourselves, in others, and in God most of every day, and make the most of ourselves. Only others, our families and our friends, can see us through all our trials and all our sorrows and joys throughout all our lives. And victory can only come through God. 1 John 5, 4 states, For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. To you and to God, I repeat, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's words. Our hearts, our hopes, our prayers, and our tears, our faith triumphant or of our fears, are all with thee, are all with thee. Thank you. Achievement Awards and scholarships will be presented. Mr. Giffen and Mr. Roy Stern, Director of Secondary Education, will direct this portion of our ceremony. Gentlemen. Before we begin the awards part of the ceremony, I'd like to thank uh, our guest on the podium with us this evening. Our school board members, Mr. Bill DeLorn, Mr. Glenn Pyron, Mr. Parrish Sheets, the president of our board, Mr. A.J. Nickens, a new board member who just started, Mr. Edgar, Edgar Irving, and a vocational uh, supervisor of education, Mr. David Oob. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming. And I'd also like to welcome to the podium with me tonight, and I think most people know him, an ex-principal of, first principal of Santa Mo High School. I think he enjoys coming here, Mr. Roy Stern. Thank you, Mr. Giffen. I come tonight representing the school board 
and i thank mr ricardo for putting me in this position because it gives me another chance to come back to gator land i come to you today with a message of congratulations and my message is three fold first of all congratulations to the seniors the graduating class of nineteen eighty four who tonight <laughs> who tonight will be making that initial step into adulthood my second congratulations goes to you the parents and the guardians of these people without your continuous support this would not have been possible tonight the ascension parish school system offers a wide varied program to its students and without the support of community people like you this could never be possible we count on you and we will count on you in the future my third message of congratulations goes to Mr. Giffen, his administration, and his faculty. For certainly, without their help, this again would not be possible. I believe real education is experiencing the very, very best. And I think at Sanoma High School, we do have that. We have teachers and administration who care. We have this, your education, certainly has become the very, very best. And to you, seniors of 1984, I wish you a happy journey as you step into... <laughs> the first awards to be presented are the Academic Achievement Awards. Will the following students please step forward in this order? Freddie Smith, Melbourne Stevens, Eric Shakespeare, Ruth Troxclair, Dean Babin, Michelle Montz, Robin Broussard, Carlin Poole, Billy Taylor, Carolyn Thornton, Blair Bourgeois, Colette Babin, Wade Alleman, Esperanza Zenon, Julie Gunter. All right, the first award in the subject matter area of art is presented to Freddie Smith. The second in the area of agriculture, presented to Melbourne Stevens. The band award is presented to Eric Shakespeare. Education Award is presented to Ruth Troxclair. The Course Award to Dean Babin. The Cooperative Office Education Award to Michelle Montz. The Distributive Education Award to Robin Broussard. The English Award to Carlin Poole. The Award for Foreign Language, Bill Taylor. The American History Award to Carlin Poole. The Black History Award to Carolyn Thornton. The Award for Industrial Arts to Blair Bourgeois. The Journalism Award to Colette Babin. The Award in Mathematics to Wade Alleman. The 
the Science Award to Esperanza Zenon. The Award in Social Studies to Bill Taylor. The Speech Award to Karen Underwood. And now the honor awards to the third ranking senior to Julie Gunther. The salutatorian award and medal of certification to Colette Babin. Someone will take this to her. And the valedictorian award, medal and certificate to Carlin Poole. Will the following people please step forward in this order? Derek Morrow, Eric Shakesnyder, Dean Babin, Carlin Poole, Wade Alleman, Kevin Idell, Karen Simmons, Pam Babin, William Sossman, Alan Savoy, Penny Spriggs, Esperanza Zenon, Tyrone Miles, and Renee Moncrief. The first four awards are the ETEL Awards for Excellence awarded in the following fields. In the field of athletics, Derek Morrow. The Band Award to Eric Shakesnyder. Chorus Award to Dean Babin. The Scholarship Award to Carlin Poole. The next award is a cash scholarship in the amount of $400 in members presented to Wade Alleman. The next award, a cash scholarship in the amount of $100 in memory of Raymond Sheets is awarded to Kemp. <laughs> the Sanoma Band Boosters Club is awarding two scholarships for students who have participated in the program for the past four years and who wish to pursue music at the college level. These are $500 scholarships they are presented to Eric Shakesnyder and Karen Simmons. <laughs> the next awards from Southeastern Louisiana University, awarded to freshmen for honor awards in the amount of $160 to the following students. Pamela Babin. <laughs> Dean Babin. <laughs> William Sossman. <laughs> and Alan Savoy. The Sanima High Talent Search Program is presenting four awards of $50 each to graduating seniors who have maintained a cumulative average of 2.5 and above. The first award to Penny Spriggs. The next award to Esperanza Zenon.
the next to Tyrone Miles. And the next to Renee Moncrief. Will the following people please come forward in this order? Colette Babin, Melbourne Stevens, Ronnie Hawkins, Regina Pepper, Lee Boyd, Brian Hugie, John Bagley, Kay Denham, Shonda Doucet, Julie Gunter, Francis Myers, Angel Mora, Karen Simmons, and Carlin Poole. The first award, the Annie Myers Scholarship for a college-bound student given by the Catholic Daughters of America is awarded to Mary Colette Babin. The Ernest Turo Scholarship for a student interested in the field of agriculture was sponsored by Bourgeois Brothers Grocery at Sanima Pharmacy and the Sanima High FFA. The recipients this year will each receive a cash award of $112. These two students are Melbourne Stevens and Ronnie Hawkins. The East Ascension Hospital Ladies Auxiliary Scholarship for a student who will pursue a career in nursing the award in the amount of $250 is given to Regina Pepper. The Gonzales Business and Professional Women Club presents two cash scholarships, one to a college-bound and one to a non-college-bound female. This year, the recipients are Regina Pepper and Leah Boyd. A Nichols State University Merit Scholarship in the amount of $600 is awarded to Brian Hugge. The Louisiana State University Chancellor's Freshman Honor Award is presented to 10 seniors. First, Mary Colette Babin. John Bagley, Kay Denham, Julie Gunter, Francine Myers, Angel Regina Pepper, Karen Simmons, and Carlin Poole. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Gerald Vilar, faithful navigator of the Archbishop Blink Assembly of the Knights of Columbus, to present the Knights of Columbus Award for this year. Mr. Vilar. We, the fourth degree Knights of Columbus in Louisiana District 1, have instituted this award for the following reasons. To promote and strengthen the patriotic spirit of our children and all citizens in our communities and to dispel apathy from them. To promote by example the highest type of citizenship so necessary for the perpetuation of our democratic form of government and the basic on which it was built. Charity in its true meaning, love of our neighbor as ourselves for the love of God. To be united for the purpose of opposing the dissemination or spreading of doctrines dangerous to our form of government and undermining the divine laws of faith and morality. To support by word and action the duly constituted authority of local, state, and national government and to live in one huge fraternal nation 
helping one another, especially those less fortunate than ourselves. Since our order is based on the principles of charity, unity, fraternity, and patriotism, and since it is almost impossible to subscribe to including the other three, we make this presentation of a patriot. Other principles were also present in the thoughts, words, and actions of Carlin Poole. Will the following students please step forward? Melbourne Stevens, Todd Richards, Tina LeBlanc, Esperanza Zenon, Derek Morrow, Colette Babin, and Carlin Poole. A Louisiana Army National Guard five-year tuition exemption scholarship to a member of the Louisiana National Guard is awarded to Melbourne Stevens. A University of Southwestern Louisiana Distinguished Freshman Scholarship in the amount of $400 is awarded to Todd Richards. A Northwestern Louisiana University Scholarship Service Award in the amount of $2,400 is awarded to Tina LeBlanc. A Southern University ROT scholarship in the amount of $1,200 is hereby awarded to Esperanza Zenon. This $100 scholastic award is being presented by the Adier family to a member of the track team. This year's recipient is Derek Morrow. A cash award in honor of the H.E. Adier family, in honor of H.E. Adier by the Adier family, is hereby presented to Mary Colette Babin. A presidential work scholarship in the amount of $325 per semester to Northwestern Louisiana State University is awarded to Tina LeBlanc. The Sanama High School FBLA is awarding a 500 cash, 500 cash scholarship to the graduating senior voted by the club membership as being the student who contributed the most to the club this year. This recipient is Tara Martinez. A Key Club scholarship presented to an outstanding member of the Santa Ma Key Club is awarded to Mary Colette Babin. The Woodman of the World Award for Outstanding Achievement to Carlin Poole. in the amount of $250 per semester to Northwestern Louisiana University is presented to Tina LeBlanc. A Louisiana State University Honors is awarded to Carlin Poole. Carlin, you better stay up here. <laughs> the first Mississippi Corporation Scholarship Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement presented each year to our valedictorian in the amount of $500 is hereby presented to Miss Carlin Poole. At this time, I'd like to present Mr. A.B. Sheets, who will announce the recipients of the American Legion Award. Mr. Sheets. Mm -hmm. 
members of the clergy, Principal Giffen, members of the faculty, school board members, graduates of 1984, and to you wonderful parents who are here tonight, and to the many other friends and relatives who are here also. It gives me a great honor to represent the American Legion to award tonight two awards that are most high standing awards that are given by the American Legion to civilians who are not a member of this organization. And we are also indebted to Santa Maria High School and also the Louisiana Department of Education for wholeheartedly endorsing this program. There are six principles that go up to make this award, and I would like for the future seniors to listen very carefully what they are. The first one is courage, bravery in the face of opposition and danger, determination and force to do right without public applause and regardless of personal advantage. Honor, a highly developed moral character, moral excellency, strength and stability of character, high standards of conduct, devotion to duty, adherence to truth, keen sense of what is right, practice of clean speech and thoughts. The third one is leadership. Ability to lead and to accomplish through group action, ability to work in harmony, with other leaders in an accomplishing group results, desire and ability to fill the voids in the lives of others caused by timidity, illness, and other handicaps. The fourth one is patriotism, an ideal of loyal Americanism, religious tolerance, righteous freedom, and the willingness to defend our flag against all enemies, foreign or domestic. Perhaps this is best defined in the American creed. The fifth one is scholarship, Attainment in high school studies, quality of school work reflecting the fine traits of industry, perseverance, efficiency, and intelligence. And the final one, the sixth one is service. Kindness, unselfishness, fellowship, protection of the weak, promotion of the interest and the welfare of associates, and constructive aid for the upbuilding of schools and the community. And at this time, I would like to ask the representative for Mary Colette Babin if she would come forward, and also the other recipient of the award, Derek Wayne Morrow. Would you please come forward, please?
two very able assistants who have been with us since these young men have been, and ladies have been freshmen, Mr. William Pittman and Mr. Jesse Sanders to come forward and assist me with this. Joseph 
bourgeois. Mark Anthony Browley. Sandy Ann Akins. Judith Ann Alexander. Darla Ann Anderson. Andrea Marie Babin. Lisa Ann Becknell. Tammy Lynn Versage. Catherine Renee Bajeron. Cynthia Marie Berthelot. Cheryl Nickens Billiot. Sonia Lynn Bazette, Sarah Elizabeth Boley, Dina Marie Bourgeois. <laughs> Timothy Crendell Granger. Broussard, Chad Michael Brown, Robert Paul Brown, Dell Wayne Murat, James Donald Barnes, Robert Leon Barnes, Shane Paul Cannon, Michael Christopher Carter, Timothy Dwayne Christie, <laughs> Daryl Wayne Coleman, Jerry Lewis Cooper, Jean Elise Bourgeois. Lisa Ann Bourgeois, Leah Marie Boyd, Stacy Renee Bro, Stacy Ann Braxton, Lotherany Swamtrina Bringer, Robin Deanne Broussard. Wendy Ann Bryant, Colleen Rose Campbell, Wanda Sue Cannon, Marcel Marie Causey, Dana Marie Cozan. Patrick Cutnell, <laughs> Keith Dado, Robert Scott DeBate, Jerry Paul DeLone, Michael Anthony DeLone, John Dirk Denham, David Lynn Duvall, Charles Anthony Dixon, Donald David Dugas, Wade Joseph Duplessis, Brian Shane Edmondson, Kelvin Paul Ellisar, Michelle Delane Chilton, Tanja Bertel Christie, 
Cindy Ann Pluot, Carla Riley Comrie, Starla Ann Cooper, Kimberly Marie Cruz, Cassandra Marie Cutno, Stacy Dejon, Darla Ann Delon, Laurie Annette Denham, Linda Marie Dixon, Madalena Dominique, Sandra D. Dornier. Brian Emmett Inlow. Jason Edward Fortner. George Lynn Flicklin. Michael Wayne Foster. Jimmy Joseph Gauche, Michael Wayne Garland, Eric Simmons Godin, Darren Paul Gotro, Jamie Joseph Gotro, Sean Gotro. Jason Paul Gotro, Huey Thomas Gayton Jr. Donna Wiles Duplessis, Deborah Edler. Pamela Marie Anglad, Tracy Ann Epinet, Dana Renee Flint, Cheryl Foster, Jamie Lynn Frederick. Judith Joy Freeman, Michelle Andrea Gotro, Kim Suzanne Gillian, Monica K. Yidri. Daryl Cody Gibbons. Gidry, Ronald Joseph Hawkins, Kelvin Blaine Haydell, John Abair, Adam Wayne Henry, Joseph Charles Henry, Jesse Paul Fernandez, James Barton Hicks, Paul Van Hills, Edward Joseph Holder, Brian Scott Hugat, <laughs> Melinda Ann Idell, <laughs> Tasha Vianne Idell, <laughs> Linda Sue Abair, <laughs> Haley.
Hazel Ann Email. Jeanette Hubs. Connie Faye Jackson. Kimberly Cheryl Jackson. Lamanda Faye Jackson. Dana Monette James. Tanja Finette James. Stacy Ann Jenkins. Alicia Charmaine Johnson. Brandon Wayne Hunt. Daryl Patrick Emil. David Nelson Johnson. Anthony Jones. Doyle Allen Jordan. Newton Kitchen, the third. Shane Paul Lesh. Daryl Jude Levine. Kelvin Lawrence. Kelvin Wayne LeBlanc. David Scott. Ladue. <laughs> Michelle Denise Jimenville. <laughs> Judith Ann Keller. Cassandra D. Kenny. Kimberly Ann Carrick. Lisa Ann Kirkies. Denise Ann Lesh. Julie Ann Lambert. Tina Marie Lambert. Melissa Ann LeBlanc. Bertha Lee, Emma Jean Lee, Lorraine Lee, Brian Joseph Lee, Michael Paul Lee, Paul Lee, Aaron Wayne Lejeune, Keith Gerald Lassar, Michael Shane Longnecker, Jerry Luke, Troy David Lucat. Jason Paul Marceau, Ralph Marsher, Homer Cesar Martin, Keith Michael McCain. Tammy Wilson Matthews. Paula Marie Miles, Renee Michelle Moncrief, Stacy Lynn Artigo, Val Ann Pyro,
Melissa Samantha Pierre. Tracy Prejean. Kim Marie Raffray. Kelly Jane Renfro. Laurie Ann Richardson. Stacy Lynn Rogers. Melda Ray Ryland. Marlon Gerard Malonson. Tyrone Miles. Craig Dean Miller. Wayne Benedict Mears. Todd Mears. Michael Ray Murphy. Harold Dean Nickens. Ray Anthony Painter. Edel Payton. Richardson. <laughs> Sherry Ann Shakespeare. <laughs> Amy Denise Sheets. Barbara Jean Smith. Rochelle Renee Smith. Penny Faye Spriggs. Dana Shay Stafford, Sheree Lynn Stafford, Angie Annette Stevens, Tracy Sheree Strange, Charlene Carol Summerford, Cheryl Ann Tomplay, Karen Ann Tomplay. Nicholas Wayne Roddy. Shelby Barton Rogers. Paul Anthony Ruye. Darren Anthony Ruiz, James Michael Ra, William Carl Sossaman, Michael Todd Savoy, Eric John Shakespeare, Quint Anthony Shakespeare. Jeffrey Burt Severio, <laughs> Kyle David Sheets, <laughs> Trey Dean Shoulder, <laughs> Carolyn Brennett Thornton. Rebecca Lee Trish, Betty Jo Turner, Karen Elise Underwood, Lisa K. Lasur, Donna Vilar. Joel Lynn Vilar, Yolanda 
Demetria Warren. Claudette Weems. Dorinda Renee West. Lisa Whitney. Melissa Lee Wild. <laughs> Tiffany Lane Williams. Dana Ann Wingerder. John Segura. Sarah Prescott Simon. Ron Paul Semino. Gary Lee Sims. Jesse Eugene Slager. Alan Eugene Smith. Freddie Donovan Smith. Todd Anthony St. Pierre. James Clarence Starlin Jr. Melbourne Garden Stevens. Anthony Stewart. Van Patrick Taylor. Brian Paul Tomplay. Dirk Joseph Troxclair. Gregory Paul Bayon. Jamie Joseph Vignier. Jamie. Aaron Paul Villar. Brad Michael Villavasso. Russell Williams. Lauren Paul Woods.